it's AJ Miles here. Welcome back to another video. For you who doesn't know me, I'm just a chick who's a newbie rider. I just bought my bike about a month ago, uh, gradually learning how to improve my riding skills, take care of my bike and whatnot. Uh, I had got my bike over, I bought it over in the UK. So I actually had to get it onto a ferry and uh, get it over to Dublin. But if you haven't watched it, do check it out. It's my very first YouTube video, so don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, in this video, however, I'll be going through my gear, uh, some of my motor vlog setup, um, the mods and tools that I bought so far, and I'll go through my how I secure my bike here in Dublin City. So, as you can see, I have it all laid out here. The biggest problem I've had so far is getting rid of all the rubbish. Like, it's just endless. There were bigger boxes in my room, but I have them all recycled so far. So this is what I have. I practically bought everything online apart from my jacket and pants. I had to make sure I could try uh, my gear on so that they really fit me because uh, these things are expensive. So I just want to be sure. Um, I'm, I'm the kind, I'm the type who will do her research for all the things I buy, especially if I'm paying premium for them. It's, it's really important to do your research before you buy stuff like that are expensive. Um, just to make sure uh, you've got what you need and uh, everything is top notch and good quality. So let's, let's start with my gear. Uh, here we've got our, my summer jacket. It's, it has lots of vents, it's brilliant. Uh, it's very light and uh, lots of pockets and um, yeah, this jacket has all the inserts that you need uh, for your back protector, your chest, your shoulders and elbow and more importantly it matches the color of my bike so I love it. Um, living in Ireland though I do have to invest in a winter jacket for sure. Uh, that's if I want to ride in the colder and wetter months uh, but I worry about that then because man these things are so expensive. Um, but for now, I just want to ride on the sunny, dry days and especially on the weekends. So here's my alpine denim pants. I did have to trim them because I am quite short. I think I've mentioned before, uh, my little legs just don't fill the pants in, the term, in terms of length. But yeah, this one, it took me forever to find pants that fit me properly. They're great, they, they're super comfortable, it feels safe, and of course it has um, knee and hip inserts. Um, so here they are, I bought these separately to the, the pants, and they, they, pit for, they fit perfectly into the denims. So definitely recommend. Um, I don't wanna, I do wanna get a pair of black pants though. And these are my shoes. I love this one, it matches with my whole look again. Um, it has extra padding on the side for the levers, so it doesn't ruin the actual shoe. It also has ankle protectors. These are actually men's size, so I literally got them in the smallest pair that Mega Bikes could order from Alpine Stars. Mega Bike is based in Dublin. They're really great over there, super helpful and friendly staff. They have this huge warehouse full of gear and rows of bikes, so it's it's such a dream. And here is my TXC casual boots. I practically already chipped and creased them, but overall they're still really good. Uh, sturdy and have, they have ankle protectors. Um, my helmet, it's an empty helmet. It's a starter helmet, so it's not super expensive. Like, it's not 400 or 500 euro. I think for a starter helmet, it'll do. It's, it's approved. It's, you know, qualified to wear as a helmet, but I'd definitely be thinking to upgrade um, in the future. Some designs I really like, something that'll match my bike. And um, yeah. And here's the product stand. As you can see, it's all set up. I've, I've, us I've used it once, but it works well. It's quite sturdy and doesn't slip or anything. So, so far so good. Uh, for my motor vlog setup, um, here it is and uh, the drone I actually already had this drone for a year now and I've never really used it but now it's gonna be put into use and I bought the Insta 361 R instead of a GoPro you guys um, I was contemplating this for a very long time 
um, I watched a ton of videos about the latest action camera and compared it with what's in the market today and so far this has paid off it's waterproof you can take a 360 view of everything it's really cool I had to buy extra gadgets for it um, such as like a motorbike mount a selfie stick and etc uh, here's the mic I am using I bought this on on Amazon if you are wondering what recorder I, I am using I'm using the Tascam DR05X it's brilliant uh, the Insta360 is not that great with audio especially with all the wind noises uh, this records literally everything in good top quality so here in the corner I have my mud guard I will be ripping off the tail as soon as I can because it is fugly and it's and I'm gonna stick a tail tidy on it um, to prevent the backflash I have to stick on the mud guard on it um, I actually bought this one on Wish or was it AliExpress I'm not sure but I'll, I'll have all the link in the description below um, so it'll be interesting how long this will last but it looks really cool I also got a clutch and brake lever I would say these ones are the most essential mod mods um, come to think about it when you get into a car the first thing well, when you get into a car that you've never driven before the first thing you'll do is adjust the seat adjust the steering wheel make sure you're comfortable well the clutch and the the clutch um, the clutch levers and the brake levers is very similar to that these these are actually adjustable and you can specify them to your own fit so that you are comfortable with the controls uh, these are the more comfortable you are the uh, riding the better and safer if, if you think about it that way D these are meant to be very easy to fit so yeah should be quick uh, here I have the SP Connect. I really like this one instead of the quad lock simply because I got a discount off them. Uh, it's really sturdy. My phone doesn't vibrate and has never fallen off. Um, so I'd recommend. Also, I got a motorcycle first aid kit. You just never know when you'll need it. For longer journeys, I'll just slip it into my bag. Here I have a battery starter as well, just in case. Um, I also got a few tools. I do need to get more tools though for sure. I have two tire gauge. This one is to check the pressure. And then this one is to check the thread of the tire. Uh, it's important to check these out before you ride out just for safety measures. I think it's really important to read through your owner's manual. I have learned a lot going through it. It's important to know what oil I'll need for, for the engine, how to check the brake disc, if it's all still good, tire pressure for your front wheel and the rear wheel, how to inspect the chain and like what's on your LED screen. So it's, it's helped me a, a lot understanding what's on my motorbike. And yeah, and then that's all for my gear and mods and tools I have so far. I'll be getting more things. I will be keeping you updated. Now I'll show you how to strap up my bike and make sure it's safe enough that I can sleep at night. Unfortunately, I don't have a shed or a garage where I can put the bike, so I, I really do have to improvise. So on top of this path walk, um, it's, it's not near, um, it's not close to any cars or a pedestrian walking by. So the first thing I do is I'll have the gear on neutral and I step off the bike and I just accelerate it onto the path and then I make sure that the kill switch is off then lock your steering to the left side and make sure that the key is turned all the way to where you can um, see the lock key indicator so I always uh, have my disc lock put under the seat of the bike it's handy to have it there really it, it comes with a small bag uh, like a small case so it stops it from rattling when you're riding make sure to cover up your bike i have two cover because um the first one i got wasn't waterproof and it broke the clip so i just got two uh, the cover keeps it nice and dry also the thieves can't see how sexy your bike is so it's less tempting to steal and if if the wind is, decides to help you out here you know even better uh, i did nearly slip <laughs> 
so watch yourself you don't want to injure yourself off the bike so um, yeah there's a small clip at the back where you can clip around your wheel so that it doesn't fly off with this crazy Irish weather um, I also bought the protector 19 millimeter chain with a round lock um, I will have a link at, of the ratings and the test you do to the chain it's a really tough chain and a lot to break um, make sure you hold the, the round lock on each side as it spins both uh, both sides of it um, and uh, yeah and it just comes off like so now take this heavy ass chain and make sure it's wrapped around a secure concrete po pole then make sure it's wrapped around the back of your wheel it's best if it's around a frame but the chain is too thick that I can't find a space where I can slot it in around the frame of the CB300 um, now what you do is you slot the chain through one another like so and secure your round lock through it now for the disc lock the disc lock is really cool as it's also an alarm so what you do is you insert the key and then you pop it out like this and you put it around your disc lock like so now the light will turn green and makes this noise now if someone tries to move it it will start screaming Now the final thing is carefully put the cover over the disc lock and you're practically set to go. If you are straight back from riding, I always try to put the cover over the exhaust so it doesn't heat up the cover and ruin it. Um, I just come back later when it, it cools down and then I put the cover back on so it's, it's not a hassle. My securities choices are quite pricey, but I'd rather pay 10% of the bike's worth in securing it than losing the whole bike. You gotta invest in these things, so you'll be thankful for when that one day comes and someone decides to try and steal your bike and they, they failed, or they took a bit longer to, to steal it. So yeah, so that's it guys. Hope that was helpful. Um, if you found that helpful, uh, please like this video and hit the subscribe button and um, see you in the next one.